I am pleased that I am able to meet President Trump so early in his administration. That is a sign of the strength of the special relationship between the United Kingdom and the United States of America, a special relationship on which he and I (coughs) intend to build. But can I also say to the uh, Leader of the Opposition, I am not afraid to speak frankly to a President of the United States. I am able to do that because we have that special relationship, a special relationship that he would never have with the United States. Mr Speaker, we would never allow Britain to be sold off on the cheap. How confident is she of getting a good deal for global Britain from a president who wants to put America first, buy American and build a wall between his country and Mexico? Mr Speaker, Article 50 wasn't about a court judgment against this government. What it signified was the bad judgment of this government. The bad judgment of prioritising corporate tax cuts over investment in national health and social care. The bad judgment of threatening European partners whilst offering a blank cheque to President Trump. The, The bad judgment of wanting to turn Britain into a bargain basement tax haven. So will she offer some clarity and some certainty and withdraw the threats to destroy the social structure of this country by turning us into the bargain basement she clearly threatens? Prime Minister! We will will be out around the world with the EU, America and other countries negotiating good free trade deals for this country that will bring prosperity to this country. But the right honourable gentleman wants to talk about Brexit. Uh, I have to say to him, He's the leader of the party. He can't even agree with his shadow chancellor about Brexit. The shadow chancellor can't agree with the shadow Brexit secretary. The shadow Brexit secretary disagrees with the shadow home secretary. And the shadow home secretary has to ring up the leader and tell him to change his mind. He talks about us standing up for Britain. They can't speak for themselves. They'll never speak for Britain. 